Choose life. <laughs> Choose life was a well-meaning slogan from the 1980s anti-drug campaign. And we're used to add things to it. So I might say, for example, choose designer lingerie in the vain hope of kicking some life back into a dead relationship. Choose handbags. Choose high heel shoes. Cashmere and silk. To make yourself feel the part is for happy. Choose an iPhone made in China by a woman who jumped out of a window and stick it in the pocket of your jacket fresh from a South Asian fire trap. Choose Facebook. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and a thousand other ways to spew your bile across people you've never met. Choose updating your profile. Tell the world what you had for breakfast and hope that someone, somewhere, cares. Choose look up old flames, desperate to believe that you don't look as bad as they do. Choose live blogging, from your first wank to your last breath. Human interaction reduced to nothing more than data. Choose 10 things you never knew about celebrities who've had surgery. Choose screaming about abortion. Choose rape jokes, slut shame and revenge porn. An endless tide of depressing misogyny. Choose 9-11 never happened and if it did, it was the Jews. Choose a zero hour contract and a two hour journey to work and choose the same for your kids. Only worse and maybe tell yourself that it's better that they never happened. And then sit back and smother the pain with an unknown dose from an unknown drug made in somebody's fucking kitchen. Choose unfulfilled promise, wishing you'd done it all differently. Choose never learning from your mistakes. Choose watching history repeat itself. Choose a slow reconciliation towards what you can get rather than what you always hoped for. Settle for less and keep a brave face on it. Choose disappointment and choose losing the ones you love. Then as they fall from you, a piece of you dies. Until one day in the future, Piece by piece, they'll all be gone until there's nothing left to call alive or dead. Choose your future, Veronica. Choose life.